Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this beautiful holiday party bracelet. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't, also liking, sharing and commenting in this way you give me signals that you like my work and to, you want me to continue with it. Share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook or Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see it. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check at the description or at the join button. And besides uh, the other small perks, you will find a course of five Peyote Stitch videos there, plus this video, which is done especially for the members of this channel, the video for these earrings that are close to this bracelet, and you could make a beautiful set if you become a member for less than $5 per month, and you could start and cancel anytime. Okay, without further ado, let's start with the list of the materials for the bracelet. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of 11 seed beads, white, red and golden. I'm also using a toggle clasp, you could use other clasp of your choice, and two jump rings. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches to 0.15 millimeters you could use similar size of monofilament or fire line this is size 11 beading needle you could use also size 12 or 10 whatever you have here i have scissors and these are pliers that i use to attach my clasp to my work and now i'm going to take about three feet of thread on my needle which is about 90 centimeters and i'll be back okay guys and i'm starting my work by picking up six of those beautiful red beads and i'm going to slide those down okay i will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and how I make it I make here a loop go twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure then I go through two beads in this direction I take three white beads and as I'm exiting through one of the red beads I'm going back in circle through it. Okay, if you don't see my thread here it is exiting out of one of the red beads and then with the three whites I'm going back through it. Okay, and I pull and here I have a loop between this red bead and these three white beads. Okay. then I go in the next red one okay I'm exiting here out of this next red and I need two white beads and I'm going back in circle through this white through the following red and after that through the next red as well because I want to save time and I want to save making one movement Okay, now I'm exiting out of this bead that I'm pointing to and I need two white beads and I'm going back through this white and through the next two reds. I need two white beads again and I repeat what I did before. I'm going back in circle through the white and then through the next two reds the one I'm exiting out of and the following okay again I'm doing absolutely the same thing all the time guys okay now what I do at my last step is that I go through this white that I have here and in this step I'm going to add just one white bead okay and I'm going back like this so 
at this row I start with 3, then I add 2 all the time, and at the last step I add 1. After that, I'm going through the white bead that is sticking out. And I take 5 golden beads, go in the following white that is sticking out, 5 golden again, go in the one that is sticking out, And I'm going to continue this, guys, until the end of this row. I'm just connecting the beads that are sticking out with five golden beads. Okay, and here the last five beads, when I add them, I go through the very first white bead where I started my whole row from. And then I go through the next two golden beads. Then I don't go through the next one, which is the third or the central one of these five. But instead of, uh, instead of this, I skip it and I go through the next two goldens and the white one after that. Okay, in this case, when I pull, you see how this bead sticks out a little bit. It forms an angle. Then I go in the next two golden beads. Again, I skip the one at the angle and go in the next two goldens and the white and I pull a little bit this one and I'm going to repeat this guys going through two skipping the central one and going through the next two in this way forming angles everywhere and when I'm ready with the last one here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and now I just did the last angle and I'm exiting here after the white bead. Okay, this is the white bead and my thread is exiting after the white one. Then what I want to do next is go in the following golden, the first golden after the white And I take one red bead and I will go in the first golden before the white and also through the white. Okay, I'm going back in circle through the first golden before the white and I'm pulling. Okay, this is what I have now. Then I want to go through the next three golden beads. Then take three goldens and go back through this golden at the top, attaching them to it, like this. Then I do the same thing, go through the two goldens and I'm exiting out of the white. I guess you see where I'm exiting now. Then I go through the first golden after the white. If you don't see my thread, just look at where my needle goes through. And I'm also saying it. Then again, one red bead. And I go through the golden before the white and then through the white. Okay. I have this. After that, go through the next three golden beads. Okay. 
and I need three red beads go back through this golden and just to save time also go through the next three goldens and through the white then through the following golden only through one golden then one red and go through the golden before the white you see where I am then through three goldens and after that three red beads now continue this guys until the end of this row if you forget how i'm doing something just rewind the video from here and repeat it from here and i'll meet you okay my friends and here i am at the last step where i'm adding my last three beads from this row again back in circle at the top and then i'm going through all of the golden beads now i'm not going through the white one only through the goldens and after that i want to go here in this red bead and now it comes a really easy and pleasant row where i just add red beads everywhere I'm just filling the gaps with one red seed bead everywhere at each side of my element. Okay, and I will continue this off camera and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last bead from this row and after that i'm going through this inner angle bead and three beads after that in this way i'm exiting out of this bead that is sticking out the most which is the angle bead and i take three beads then i go back through this angle bead like this after that guys i will go through two red beads i'm taking one white bead and i'm going in the next two plus the angle bead and i take three white beads and now as i go through this bead i go through the following two as well just to save time and i pull one white bead go through the next three three white beads and go through this one and through the following two just to save time and then one again skip here the central one and go through the following three beads okay and i will continue this guys and i'll meet you here at the last step okay guys and here i am where i need to add my last bead from this row and I'm going just like this now it is time to cut also this tail thread that I have here now my friends this is the first element of my bracelet I will need at least six of those elements and off camera I will make two more elements and I'll be back okay guys and off camera I did two more elements and now I have three 
which is half of my bracelet. Now I will show you how to connect them and how to start your bracelet. That is why I'm going to take one of those elements and the other ones I will put aside. Okay. And now what I do here is that I want to exit through one of those beads that are sticking out. Okay, let's say this one. And after that, I want to reach this white bead here at the center. And I'm going to take five golden beads. You see, these are five. And I'm going back in circle through this white bead that I have here. And this is, guys, the loop where I'm going to attach my clasp. That is why I'm going to reinforce this. Okay, and after I reinforce this loop, what I want to do next is to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I make here a loop. And I go twice through the loop I've made. Then I make sure this loop is between the two beads where I started it from. And I pull. And after that, I go through some beads in this direction. You could repeat this knot several more times, but when you do the last knot, go through some beads and then cut your thread. Never cut next to a knot. Okay. Now I have the first element with the loop for the class ready. And I'm going to take another element, guys. You see I haven't cut my thread and I have a needle on this guy. And what I want to do again is to reach this white bead here that is sticking out the most. Okay. I want to attach this one here to these two beads that are the opposite of where my clasp is. Okay, my friends, and as I'm exiting out of this white bead, you see, I'm exiting out of this white in this direction. I want to go here in this white. And when I pull, I have this. Then I'm going to take another golden. And I'm going in this white one in this direction. And I pull. Then I'm going to reinforce this by going one more time through it. Now, what I want to do is to reach the other bit that is sticking out here. Okay, I want this arranged like this. Going through all of those beads in this direction. And exit here through this white one. Okay, I'm exiting out of this white bead. And I take one golden, go through this white. 
one more golden and go through this white. And then what I do is that I reinforce. Go like this. Now guys, I want to find a place to make a knot and cut my thread. And I'm coming here at this angle. I'm making here a loop. And I'm going twice through this loop I've made. Then I go in the following beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread. Now I have my second element attached here and after that I take the third element and I'm going to attach it guys here to this side absolutely the same way okay off camera i will add more and more elements and this bracelet i will make with six elements but if you want you could make it longer and uh, it depends on the clasp you use also and i will do this off camera and i'll be back Okay, my friends, and as I continued adding more and more elements the same way I showed you, this is what I have. I have six elements attached. And here, guys, at my last step, I just attached this last six element here. And here is where my thread is. And now I want to reposition my thread and exit here out of this white bead. Okay, and how I do this? I just find a way through my beads go in this direction through those beads and exit here okay I won't make you watch me go through all of those beads because it's boring but I will exit here and I'll be back Okay, my friends, and now I'm exiting here at this uh, white bead. I'm exiting through this white one in this direction. Here is where my thread is. And now I'm taking five golden beads like I did before. I'm going back in circle like this. Then, like I did before, I will reinforce make a knot and cut my thread just like I showed you from the other side and I'll be back. Now what I want to do here is to add my clasp and how I do this I take my jump ring I open this one up take my clasp after that I put it here inside this loop that I've made and then I put my clasp and then I squeeze back this jump ring in the same direction as I opened it okay now I have this then I will repeat this from the other side and I'll be back Okay guys, and now my holiday party beaded bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button if you still haven't. Please like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. Share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the membership comes with perks that you could check in description. Also besides these perks I have a course of five peyote stitch uh, tutorials called five unexpected designs that you could do with peyote stitch and also I have 
now these earrings that are done especially for the members of this channel thank you for staying here with me until the end now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching